Uh oh, I think I just released it. Oh no. Three, two, one, and. Uh oh. Uh oh. Oh no. <laughs>
Uh oh. Uh, okay, the thermite cannon worked pretty good. Hold on, let's in do the incinerator through it. And oh, <laughs> oh, it just blew out the back. Uh oh. Okay, so what happens when we cut out a, or maybe cut off a wing mid-flight? Uh, is this gonna throw it off? Here we go. Uh oh. Something else just exploded. Hold on. Hold on. Okay, the back end. All right, it's almost cut off. <gasps> oh, dude, there it goes. Uh, is the plane still stable? Oh, this is fine. Okay, we lost a wing. All right, you know what we got to do? We got to cut the cabin in half. There we go. Uh Oh, no. This is about to get laggy. I wonder if we can get on it as it goes down. Okay, let's get the other end of the cabin. Uh, FBI, this is for pure, like, experiments. Uh, I'm just doing this just for funsies here. All right, come on, cut in half. Uh, there's something on the bottom still connected. Uh, come on. Uh, something is still connected here. Just keep cutting through it. This looks incredible, by the way. I like how everything flies off now, so all the loose debris actually goes back and then it hits the ground. So I'm assuming at some point the plane's going to do the same thing. All right, cut the inside. Oh, I think it's about to disconnect here. This looks like the final piece. It's got to be this wing. On, cut up this way. Probably should have cut it somewhere else to try to cut it in half. There we go. And then we have the final back piece. Uh-oh. 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 Is it going to go? Something's going. Wait, what? Is the wing somehow still holding on? Doesn't look very stable. Uh-oh. I think I just released it. Oh, no. There goes the front of the plane. I want to go with it. Come on, I'm going to get into it here. All right. So this thing is now falling to the ground. Uh-oh, that's eerie. Uh, it's bad when you look up and you can see the plane disappearing. Oh, oh, it's trying to suck us out the back. Okay, can we get a seat? Uh, look, dude, look at all the wires and stuff hanging down. Uh, oh, no. The ground's getting a little closer. Uh-oh, here we go. We're about to hit the ground. I don't know if this impact's going to be bad or not. Uh-oh. Uh, uh, this is not good. And... Okay, that's still pretty bad. Oh! Ouch. So, Komodo did not survive the plane crash. Um... Okay. So, where does it... Where does it let me back? It, am I dead? Uh, I think I'm dead. <laughs> oh, that was so cool. Like, the detail on this. What else could we do to this? I mean, obviously, a nuke's a thing. Uh, what other tools do we have? You know, we got a tool. It's not really anything new. Uh, we're going to try it. The, ooh, breaching charge. That's kind of a fun one, too. Yeah, I've got something called the, uh, the doorbell. So you're probably asking yourself, well, what's a doorbell? Well, a doorbell is a, a gun that essentially creates a nice, even hole. So, hold on, let's see. Where do we want to do this? We have the tunnel. We have just the door. I think the door shot might be good. So, say we want to get through. Let's do it to the back of the plane here. Say we want to do this to the back of the plane. We just go, let's get close and go, yoink. Look at this. It cuts out a hole, so this is going to be a little less laggy when it comes to cutting holes in the plane. Let's do the tunnel. Is this dangerous to do a tunnel like this? All right, here we go. Oh, no. I think we just accidentally made a, a hole in the wrong spot. Dude, everything's getting sucked out. Holy man. Oh, the tunnel's still... Oh, there's no front of the plane anymore. Um, oops. That was my bad. I'm sorry, everybody. Hold on. Let's go look at the front. Dude, the tunnel is incredible. I like this. And oh, no. Oh, we basically blew the, blew the front out. Okay. So will the tunnel work on an engine? Let's just clean an engine out real quick. Let's go. Oh, that's so cool. On tunnel through. Oh, oh let's go through the back of it. We need a clean shot. And nope, we just hollowed out an engine. Um, what happens if we hollow out the other engine? Oh, I hear bells going off. That's probably a bad sign. And oh, there goes the other engine. Okay, so is it actually going down right now? I don't think it's going down. I think you pretty much have to uh, cut something off for it to go down. Hello, I need to get back into the plane. Oh, <laughs> there we go. This is fine. All right, we just cut through this. Oh, I went through the other side. Um, no, this is good. This is fine. You know, I wonder if there's something you can do as far as the cockpit interaction. I mean, the cockpit's 
kind of gone right now because I, I made a boo-boo. But I wonder if we can get in there and do something. Is there like a button we can click? Uh, so we totally are going to do this in the in a thunderstorm. Maybe even at night. The atmosphere in there would be awesome. Okay, so we need to keep stuff that has projectiles and blows holes inside of the stuff. We need to put that away for now. Uh, what happens if we just go in? Let's just use a sledgehammer. Let's see if we can get in. Actually, can I just open the door? Oh. Okay, I could have just totally opened the door here. Hello, captains. Uh, I'm just coming in to uh, visit and see how to work the plane. Uh, you guys look like the passengers. Is there anything we could press in here? Uh, do I got any buttons? Komodo likes clicking buttons, even though I probably shouldn't click buttons. What's this thing? Uh, no, that's not a button. Uh, that's a fire extinguisher. What if I hit this panel? <gasps> Oops! Uh, uh-oh. No, 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 no. I didn't mean to do that yet. Uh, on. Oh, on, get to the extinguisher. All right, this is fine. Uh, we are avoiding an emergency right now. There we go. See, we're fine. Everything's good. Okay, I'm just gonna... Oh, it's still on fire. No! No! Put the plane out! What do you think the passengers are thinking? They see me with the extinguisher. It's like, it's okay, folks. Uh, we're just experiencing just a couple technical difficulties. Uh, everything's gonna be a-okay. Okay, stop it. All right. Fire is out. Cool. Uh, wait. Can we serve people here? Do they, can we push these carts? Hey, what do they do? They glue these things down? Hold huh, on, we can grab, uh, like a mug and be like, Hey, lady, you want some coffee? Uh, there we go. That, that's your coffee right there. Uh, wait, did her head just fall off? Um, oh, it doesn't look very attached. Wait. Is there a feature with the toilets? If we flush them, can we fling people out of the uh, plane? That would be cool. All right, we got to drop a uh, mid-flight deuce. But is, oh, I guess it opens like this. Can I click the button? Oh, no, I don't think I can actually eject people. Now, that would have been fun. Uh-oh. Wait, how do you open up an emergency hatch? If I grab this handle, uh, maybe it's a little lock. If, it seems like maybe it's a lock. Maybe it's this thing. Press against it. How do we get these things open? Uh, hold on. Let's try this one. Okay, so if I go... Does it eject them? No. Oh, it feels like it's kind of loose. So I guess if it blows open here in a second, we'll know. All right. So we're about to head outside to try some stuff. I do have a breaching charge. I feel like we could probably completely take out the plane that way. So let's go boom, 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 boom. The destruction on this map is absolutely incredible. We're going to stick a breaching charge to her face. There we go. All right, we're just gonna stick these. Oh, oh, you know, I think last time we played this mod, you can only stick like five. Now it seems to be unlimited. Uh, this is gonna be bad. This is too many. Okay, stick a couple on the floor and a couple on the roof. Okay, so we're gonna see if we can survive like a midair explosion here. So we're just gonna go back. This is like Stormworks plane crash survival, except for it's a little bit more uh, destructive. All right, here we go. Three, two, one, and... Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Oh, no! Oops. Okay, everything's getting sucked out. I must be a heavy boy because I ain't moving anywhere. Fine. Um, is the plane going down right now? I know the people are flying out of it. Uh, hold on. Let's take a look. Uh, did it separate? Uh-oh. Did it separate? Uh, n no. On, let's go fly out. Is the plane going down? Is the ground getting closer? Dude, we did some major damage there. That's cool. Also, oh, there goes a person. Can we, are we getting closer? On, can we actually grab this plane with the, uh, what if we can grab it with the physics gun? Uh, oh, we can. What happens if we release it now so we start going down with it? Uh-oh. Okay, you can fully simulate the plane crash now. All right, so we need to get outside of the plane and then just kind of drop it down and see if we can uh, do a full-blown plane crash. This is cool. Uh, well, I guess technically we're in a full-blown plane crash. Let's see if we can get inside of it. Okay, so I wonder if being at the back of the plane is better than being at the front of the plane. Has anybody proven that theory? There's not any seats back here to sit. It's fine. We'll just, we'll get here. We'll get a window seat. Uh, we can just watch our impending doom. Oh boy. That ground is getting close. Uh, are we going to be able to hold on here? Uh oh. Okay. We're good. Just, just wait. Um, uh, yeah, this is, this is great. 
Why is it getting so bright in here? Uh, what does that mean? Uh oh. Uh oh, something just exploded. Wait, did the back end hit first? Uh, that would be a bit of an issue if it, if the back end hits first. We're uh we're in the back. On oh, right there, here it comes. Oh, here comes the collision. Are we gonna survive this time? Uh oh 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 uh oh. Oh no! Oh uh, oh! <gasps> Wait, hold on. I don't know what's happening here. Oh, the plane is okay. We're we're dying. Hold on. Let's see if we get it. Oh, no, we died. Oh. Okay, that's two for two in deaths when it comes to trying to be in it when it goes down. Oh, it respawned this time. Oh, can we go see the wreckage? Uh, oh, we are falling at a very fast pace. Okay, we need to fly here. Wait, which way did the wreckage go? I feel like it went backwards, right? Uh, it's like that's where it's pushing me towards. Uh, let's see if we can find it. I, I don't know if we're gonna be able to find it or not. Uh, I don't know where it went. I think it's gone. Okay, so I told you guys here. Let's change it up a little bit. We're gonna do a thunderstorm. Let's do it at night. Let's just make this full-blown creepy. All right, fully loaded cabin. Let's do this. All right, so we now have a night flight. Oh, you can see. Hey, somebody. I want a window seat. Move out the way. Here, there we go. Look at that, dude. All right, you can see the rain. Is it like, do we have lightning up here? Ooh, some sort of lightning gun would be good for this. That'd be a kind of a cool experiment. Okay, we need to get outside. How do I get out of this thing without decompressurizing it? Like, can I just like, I don't know, no clip through something? Okay, let's see if we can hit one of these without, oh, okay. Can I slowly get this open? Okay, uh, there we go. All right, we're out. Okay, uh, that might have created a little bit of an issue. Oh, it is definitely thunderstorming out here. This is insane. Uh, I don't like it decompress. Oh, never mind. I see holes appearing in the side of the plane. Okay, it's trying to suck stuff out, but I think for the most part, the plane's in uh, decent shape. So now uh, we can do a couple things out here. You know, we do have like an orbital cannon. Would that be uh, uh, too much? Can I even target it with a, uh, a strike like that? All right, so we got two things we're gonna try. We're gonna do a nuke, and we are gonna do a ion cannon. Uh, let's go ahead and do ion cannon first. Okay, ion cannon is in place. Oh no. Ion cannon versus plane. This is gonna be bad. All right, here comes the blast. Uh-oh. And I wonder if the, uh, the weather's gonna change anything here. <gasps> oh, oh no. Uh oh. The game froze. Uh, wait. Oh, there it goes. Dude, that is so cool looking. Wait, it didn't break it in half? That's actually surprising. It's kind of hard to see. We're probably going to turn off the thunderstorm. I mean, it's nice for atmosphere and it's cool having those options. But yeah, look, the cabin just blew up. There's still quite a bit, you know, that's intact somewhat. Hey, the cockpit made it. All right, folks, let's open that up real quick. Okay, so we are ready for the grand finale. Uh, we're gonna test a nuke against the plane. So here, let's grab our nuke out. Okay, nuke is ready. Let's go ahead and increase the shockwave radius real quick. And I don't think I need to increase the strength. Like, I think it's gonna be plenty fine, but I think we're gonna disintegrate the whole plane here. So we got it set to 75. All right, here we go. Plane versus nuke. Three, two, one, go. Uh-oh. Oh, no, that's going to be bad. Oh! Dude, that is incredible looking. Okay. I just need another frame because I'm excited to see what the next frame is going to look like. Oh. Oh, that's definitely going to be in half. There's no way that's not in half. Dude, look at it breaking it. Oh, okay. So, oh, that is like the coolest thing I've ever seen in teardown. I think it's gone. The shockwave rippled through the front and just completely separated it. Uh, oh, the back starting to break apart. Uh, yeah, nukes and planes. Uh, they don't get along very well. By the way, look at the detail. Once you kind of dissect this model, here, let me clear up a little bit of the lag here. Look at all the stuff on the uh, top side, all the wires and stuff. That is just so detailed. There's even, like, luggage up here. Wow. That's impressive. Well, 
Anyways, you guys should definitely go check out this map. Thank you guys for watching this episode of Teardown, and we will see you guys next time.